Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be making these fun yarn bracelets. You can make them into a bracelet, you can make them into a keychain, you can do pretty much anything you want with them. Today we're gonna to start with these materials. You're only gonna need about four sets of materials. First is gonna be your yarn or your string. You can choose any color that you want and any amount of color that you want. You're also gonna need tape and you're gonna need scissors. And then you're going to also need three straws. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is cut about a foot and a half of your first color string. Doesn't matter which color, you can decide. I'm gonna start with yellow. So once you have your string measured out, then you're going to carefully weave your string through the straw. This process might be a little bit tedious and it might take some time, but it is worth it in the end for these fun bracelets. So I'm going to work to weave my yellow string through my first straw. Sometimes it can be a little bit challenging. If you can find a household item around the house to push the string through the straw, it'll make it a lot easier. For the sake of time, I'm going to use my scissors to try and pull the yarn through. But if you're doing this at home, make sure your parents are watching over you and you are being safe. So this is my first string weaved through. Then you're gonna take your other two colors and do the same thing. So once you've done that, this is what your final product should look like. I'm gonna tie a knot at the end of one of the strings so that they can't go anywhere on the string. Then I'm going to take a piece of blue tape and I'm going to tape the bottom ends of the string so they don't pull through the straws again. Then I'm going to take my first color. For the sake of the video, I chose yellow. And you're gonna cut about two feet of this string. The length of the string depends on how much of the color you want to show on your bracelet. Then I'm going to tie the string to my first straw, this being my yellow straw. I'm gonna double knot it so it's good and secure. Then you're gonna start the weaving process. You're gonna go under, or you're gonna go over the yellow, and then you're gonna go under the green for your first round. Once you go under the green, you're gonna go back over the pink straw. Then you're going to go back in the opposite direction. So you're gonna go under your pink straw, and then you're gonna go over the green straw and under the yellow straw. If it helps, you can label your straws one, two, and three to help you remember the order. Then you're just going to repeat this process over and over until you have a basket weave pattern with your yarn. Make sure to pull the string all the way through when you're doing this process. After a while, your product should look something like this. This is where I have my first yellow section completed. Now I forgot to mention in the beginning, but if you're having a hard time weaving, you can put a piece of blue tape at the top of your straws to hold them more securely in place. So to add your second color, you're going to take the same length and string and you're going to tie a knot to your first string. In this case, I'm tying a red colored piece of yarn to my yellow colored piece of yarn. And I'm going to double knot it to make sure it's good and secure. Then you're gonna cut off the excess ends that you no longer need. I'm going to retape down my length, my ends of my string, and then I'm going to start the weaving process with my red. I'm going to go under my green, and then back over my pink. And then I'm going to go back in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go under pink, over green, and then back under my yellow. 
You're going to repeat this process again when you start with your third color. Once you have finished all three colors, you should have something that looks like this. With the straw still in place, you can remove your blue tape from both ends of the string. I'm going to make sure my bracelet is secure by tying a knot at the green end so that it doesn't unravel when I remove the straws. The next thing I'm going to do is pinch both ends of the straws after I remove the tape. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the top ends of the straw and the bottom ends and I'm going to push my yarn up towards on the straw. And I'm going to keep pushing my yarn off the straws until they're on the string. Then I'm going to remove the straws and even out my weave. And there you have it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the strings in a knot so that it's secure. And there you have it your very own woven yarn bracelet.